Thanks, Brian. All right. Meanwhile, Colonel Douglas McGregor served as the director of Joint Operations Center in the Supreme Headquarters of Allied Europe. He knows it inside and out. He really served there during the 1990 Kosovo campaign. He wrote that book. It's called Margin of Victory. Colonel McGregor joins us right now. Colonel, we got 28 NATO bases. From a military perspective, and if you look at 70 years, there hasn't been a Soviet slash Russian invasion. And NATO is beginning to change its objective. Who would have thought there would have been in Afghanistan, having a cyber unit to it. Can you see the positive impact the president's making? Well, I think the, po the president's impact has been positive from the outset. <clears throat> Look, he's delivering a message that is at least two decades overdue. The Europeans have been essentially enjoying defense cost-free, for the most part, thanks to the United States. <clears throat> we bring the balance of the military power. We provide the command and control. Without us, there is frankly no NATO. And he was absolutely right to talk about Germany. It's not simply a question of funding in Germany. Germany effectively has no armed forces anymore. And you know, the armed forces they, you know, in Germany Colonel, are they hopelessly act, demoralized. And they tried to have they tried to have a you know they have a volunteer service. They said, hey guys, we have a budget. Sign up. No Germans signed up. Well, that's that's only part of the problem. The larger problem is that the Germans, thanks to us, don't feel obligated to defend themselves. And the president has simply said, look. Why should the American taxpayer defend you if you aren't willing to defend yourself? There's this thing called Article 3 in the NATO Treaty that says each country will build adequate defenses for itself. They're not doing it. So the polls are right. The polls have asked repeatedly for the last several years, where is the German army? Because without a German army, any defense of Eastern Europe is frankly impossible. Why is it that these new uh, Eastern European free nations, when the <clears> wall <throat> fell, seem more uh, dedicated to NATO than the older Western nations? Why is that? Well, that's an easy, easy question, and there's an easy answer. Anyone, anyone in the world who's lived under Russian occupation, that includes the Germans who live in the former territory of, of East Germany or the German Democratic Republic, doesn't want to repeat the experience. These people want to be desperately allied with us for their own interests so that they can protect themselves against what they view as an inevitable Russian attempt to regain control of their countries. And by the way, there's a lot of evidence to support their contention. The problem is that world warfare has changed. We can't permanently station troops in the Baltics or Poland. If we did, they'd be killed in the first strikes launched in the early hours of any future intervention. We can't be the first responder. That's the bottom line to NATO's problems in Eastern Europe. The president knows that. He wants to support them. He wants to reinforce them, mm -hmm. but he wants them to be their own first responder. Colonel, I'm getting to the rap signal through my ear. Just trust me on that. Real quick, people are getting upset saying the president's nicer to Vladimir Putin than he is our own allies. Don't you think it's a matter of you expect more from your friends, families, and neighbors than you do of your rivals slash enemies? Well, maybe, but I think the president is looking for the opportunity to remove the requirement to treat Russia as a permanent enemy in Eastern Europe. So I think people should welcome that, much as Theresa May suggested. Right, although they've done nothing to deserve uh, that type of openness. Uh, they've been belligerent, and they've been provocative, sure. and they meddled in our election. Uh, Colonel, uh, thanks for your service. Great to see you. Thank you, Brian. All right, let me tell you what's coming up straight ahead. Of